So you're thinking of moving to Beecher, Illinois? Or just looking to learn more about the town? Well, this video is for you. In this video, we're going to show you what's all around Beecher. We're going to hop into Google Maps here and we'll show you around town, everything there is to know, where there is to go, what to do, all that good stuff. I was raised in Beecher from 6th grade on, and so I like to think I know a thing or two about the town. So look forward to sharing my knowledge with you and looking forward for you to get to know more information about Beecher. Hi, my name is Tony Anzer. My wife and I are real estate agents serving Northwest Indiana and the Chicagoland area. Again, we serve Illinois and Indiana. And we do these videos to help our viewers learn more about the area. And, you know, ultimately we get a lot of people that reach out to us to uh, buy or sell. And we'd love to help you out with that. So please call, text, email. You can book a, a Zoom meeting right on our calendar directly. And I'll link below. And we'd love to have that conversation with you. Also check out our other links below to other playlists of other towns and topics about buying and selling or living in the Northwest Indiana and Chicagoland area all below. All right, so now we're gonna hop into our Google Earth map. And you'll see the town of Beecher here. Beecher isn't really all that big of a town. Population-wise, it's like 4,200 people, maybe a little more from there. Uh, but you can see it's really not all that big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out a bit here so that we can see surrounding towns. So we got Beecher here. Uh, we know we're just here's the Illinois Indiana border. So we're just on the west side of Indiana. Uh, here is you can see we've done uh, videos of these towns in Northwest Indiana already. So just for perspective, you know, Cedar Lake is about, from Beecher to Cedar Lake, is about a 10-15 minute ride. Uh, to St. John's, about the same. Uh, to Dyer, maybe 20 minutes, depending on if you're coming from the south or north side of Beecher. And so if you're going to the city here, like the downtown Chicago, so here's Chicago. So from Chicago to Beecher is about 37 miles. So without traffic, like if you're going on, let's say, driving on a Saturday morning, you could get from Beecher to downtown Chicago in about 45 minutes. Or if you need to get to O'Hare Airport, which is a little further up here. Yeah, right by Rosemont is generally where where O'Hare Airport is. That's uh, That'd be a little over an hour uh, without traffic. So, you know, depending on traffic, if you're going during rush hour, that could be quite a bit more. But that gives you a little perspective on drive times. There are a number of people that live in Beecher and commute to the city for work, and so you can obviously drive, or there's also the option of taking the train. For those that tra take the train, most people get, take the University Park train station stop, so you would head up, usually take a country road or two, end up at University Park at the train station. I'll zoom in here to find it. Yeah, so from Beecher to the uh, train station, University Park is right by Governor State University. So from Beecher to there is about a 20 minute ride. So if you're commuting to the city, you got a 20 minute ride to the train, and then from the train, it's about 45 minutes, uh, maybe 40 minutes on the express to, to get to the city. So Beecher was actually named by a guy named T.L. Miller, and there is Miller Street in Beecher, which is the main road in Beecher. And so he named it after some um, guy in history named Henry Ward Beecher. So T.L. Miller bought a bunch of land to raise uh, livestock and cattle, and then the railroad came through town. And so the railroad put in a train depot, like right over here, and that became the center of commerce. And that's the, so the downtown area is what developed first in Beecher. And then you'll see here, and this is still used actively to today, that the train depot is now just a little museum there in town. It's not really functioning for any commerce. But this is a main commerce of town, is the grain elevator. So what happens here is that farmers in the area will harvest their crops and bring them to the grain elevator. And that's where they, the grain elevator will uh, purchase their crops for them. You know, they store them in the elevator and then they get uh, hauled off uh, via rail to wherever it is they go next. All right, so living in Beecher, where would you go like grocery shopping? So there is the Waltz grocery store, which is a pretty good sized grocery store. They have pretty much most of anything you would need. But if you're one like us that likes to stock up on things like going to Costco or Sam's Club, what you'd end up doing is you're kind of equidistant here in Beecher from going out to the Maryville area, which is the Costco, or you could go out to the Bradley Bourbon A area. I don't know where Bradley and Bourbon A, where one ends and one start. We kind of all say it the same around here as so one town. Uh, but either way is uh, kind of you pick just what town you like a little more. Like we're, uh, you know, we'd always go to the Northwest Indiana area when lived in Beecher and then other people will just choose to go to the Bourbon A or Bradley area. It's usually just what you were more comfortable with. 
So, but uh, for going out to dinner or whatnot, there are some restaurants in town, and we'll get into that in a minute. But uh, the 3041 corridor in Northwest Indiana is, has you know pretty much everything you need and then some. And then also, again, you could go out to the Bradley Bourbon A Mantino area uh, for a nice dinner. Uh, there, and there are other restaurants in Beecher. We'll go through that. So when you're looking at housing in Beecher, I just wanted to go through where the subdivisions are because you'll hear different names of subdivisions. And so I just want to show you here. So we got Nantuck Nantucket Cove is the northmost. They're still building new houses there. And we got Hunter's Chase, Hunter's Chase East, uh, Prairie Park, and like right here for perspective is Church Road. Uh, going a little south, we got Prairie Crossings. We have the Preserve, which is on a lot of the, the golf course here is Cardinal Creek Golf Course. Uh, we got Country Terrace and Kono Graham. Uh, nobody really calls those though, because this whole area is basically like the older section of Beecher. So nobody really calls those by subdivision names. You do have Southfield Knoll over here, which is pretty cool because it's got, you know, you got nice views behind you and open big lots. So I'm a big fan of Southfield Knoll. We've got Highlington Garden Estates, which are like uh, townhomes on the golf course, which are pretty cool. You got Highlington, Highlington Estates here. And then also Lang Subdivision is pretty cool too, because those are also all like on the golf course right here. I just want to point out some neat things about Beecher. So from going north to south, we've got uh, here is a little industrial park, uh, and there's uh, you know some employers here. We've got a rodeo. A rodeo gets pretty busy. Uh, there's a couple of rodeos. This one's in the town of Dyer, but there's some in the country too. We've got on uh, schools. All right, we have the three schools highlighted in pink. These two run together, so it looks like one here. But we have the Beecher Junior High School, which is right here off of Church Road. Uh, that was built, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, it used to, so when I went through the school system, it was the Beecher Elementary School actually when it was like K through eight. And then the high school was here. So those two were together. They still are, but they're right next to each other. Uh, but now the elementary school is no longer also junior high. The ju new junior high was built over here. One thing to know about the schools is that they don't have air conditioning, and that's not the most fun thing as a student, but it is what it is. All right, so on the, so we're on the church road here. Let me zoom out a little for perspective. We got just some highlights of things in town. This is Faith Church here. It's more of a contemporary church in the area. We've got the local you know, Beecher Manor here is a nursing home. Uh, here we've got the CVS. There's a gas station here, laundromat in this corner. Uh, driving south here, that's the uh, nursing home too. We got Beecher Fellowship Baptist Church here. Uh, just a little commercial complex here. Here is the, on Route 1 is the main thoroughfare. We got Walt's Grocery Store here, First Community Bank and Trust. There's a Dunkin' Donuts here. Uh, this little plaza has a Mexican restaurant and a Chinese restaurant. I think there's like a nail place there too. Uh, here is Midland States Bank. And pretty much all the businesses are made off of Route 1, so it's pretty easy to flag them here. There's a McDonald's with a, combined with a gas station right here. Uh, continuing south, we got a little excited there. We got the Casey's gas station. We got the Dollar General here. There is the pharmacy here. Uh, Beecher Veterinarian Clinic. We got the local bowling alley. This place here, oh, this is the Beecher Village Hall. Buddy's Drive-In, see the photo here, that this place is, uh, if you know Beecher, you know Buddy's. Also on well-known restaurants in the area is right here at Indiana Avenue and Route 1 in Northwest Corner. See this photo of Princess Cafe, that's like, a lot of people know Beecher by Princess Cafe. They'll say, oh, if you're from Beecher, like, wait, is that where Princess Cafe is from? And that's, that's a well-known place. You gotta check out these steaks and, uh, man, their food, their French onion soup, oh, so good. Just south of Indiana Avenue is Pachinga a Mexican restaurant. That's kind of a newer place that seems to always be pretty busy. Got DeYoung equipment. To the north of Indiana and east of Route 1 is Cardinal Creek Golf Course. So that's a main staple of the town too. A lot of people know Beecher by the golf course. A couple other things the flag here is Lions Park, just west of the railroad tracks, is a nice walking trail. Uh, my parents use that. They go in and get their walks, their steps in. 
This big lagoon thing right here is actually the village's wastewater treatment plant. I'm a civil engineer by trade, so I always like pointing those out. And one thing to know about Beecher too is that they are on well water. So it's like it's like village water. So they you know they have public water mains that you connect your houses are connect to, but it's well water. So a lot of times you'd end up with a water softener or some sort of water purification system. I've got some buddies that live in Beecher and they use these Berkey systems for their drinking water. And oh, it's, it's great. It, it's like you buy them like three, four hundred bucks and then they, you know, you fill them with water and then you just got to spig it on them and that's what they use for their drinking water. It makes a big difference and it prevents you from having to get bottled water or getting the, your, your tanks filled up at the grocery store. All right, what I'm going to show next is this is my, so I'm logged into my MLS view as a realtor. I just want to show, I just look, I didn't put any filters on these, just everything that's for sale right now. We've got a four bed, two two bath. You can see older style, two story for two, about two hundred thousand dollars. And again, this is the older section of town. Here's six five seven Pasadena. We got two hundred seventy thousand three bed, two bath, nineteen hundred square foot ranch. Here is a this is a fixer upper seven hundred two Woodward, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And again, that's a fixer upper. So a uh, five twenty one Catalpa. We got a three bed, one and a half bath, eighteen hundred square foot, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. And again, that's all kind of the older section of town. This house too. That one's a bit of a fixer upper. Uh, but here we go. This is a ni nice house on the golf course. Three bed, two bath, 1,600 square foot. Most likely has a basement at that price point, 275,000. And again, that's still all the older section. Here, as we go north, we get in the newer houses and you can see the style difference. We got four bed, two and a half bath, almost $400,000. Uh, here again, this is a newer section. You can see the style. You got a two story, three bed, two and a half baths, 1,800 square foot for $340,000. And let's check out these. These are also, I think these are brand new construction actually. So here we go. Uh, two story, 1454 Clifton Avenue, four bed, two and a half bed, $370,000. So that way you can see perspective on, on house costs. The houses in the northern section of town are mostly in HOAs. And they're, it's, it's in my opinion, it's nice having them in the HOAs because your fees are pretty low because the like, HOAs don't include all that much. But it does help your property value stay higher because it uh, you know includes the... It has a standard so that you don't have people like with dead cars in their driveway forever and you know projects like that going on so in the north side of town they have the covenants and restrictions that make people have their house and property to a certain standards and in the older section of town there aren't hoas so in my opinion the hoas are kind of nice again because there's not they're not expensive because they don't like include a whole lot but it's enough to make sure that everyone in the neighborhood's keeping their property up yeah, just some parting comments again since i'm from the area you know beecher was a great place to grow up because it's a really safe area you know i would i actually lived in the country kind of over here ish uh but it was a regular occurrence that you know I'd, my parents would drop me off in town and you just you know have a day driving your bike around or skateboarding meeting up with friends and just kind of you know hanging around in town and so it was a nice place where you know you could be safe and it's just you know always something to do because these streets you know it's easy to ride bikes around and whatnot so it's a pretty social town to live in the downside is that it is a small town so uh, there's this, you know can be drama and people just knowing everybody's business because it's you know a population of only four thousand ish uh, it's you know just got that definitely has that small town feel to it yeah so if you're interested in moving to beach or just want to know more about the area please call text email book a zoom meeting right on our, our calendar here and i'd love to talk with you and find out your specifics to help you find the best spot for you in Beecher or maybe it's another surrounding town. I'd love to help uh, help you help guide you as to find the best fit home and, and town for what you're looking for. All right, so if you would please just hit that subscribe button, i would be notified of when we hit up to put out new videos, which is basically weekly. And until next time, we'll see you around town.